What's going on guys? It's Master Chris 86 back again for another video and today we're actually going to be taking a look at the vertical doors and the issues that I've been having with them so far, specifically with the V3 kit. So this is going to be a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little overview of you know what's been going on. Um, there's not too too many like major issues that I've had, but there are a few minor ones, and it really comes down to just like being aware of what's going on, which I'll explain to you in a minute. So let's take a look. All right, there she is. Looking slick as always. Now, I do love this door, uh, door kit. It makes the car look so different, and honestly, the, when I go out to events now, the car just stands out even more than I already did. But usually I don't really like the vertical doors on cars that aren't supposed to have them, but I, I think it looks really good with this car, and especially with this kit. But, like I said, um, I did run into a few issues with it. So, the first one being all right, the way these doors actually work is they have to open up past a certain point because there's like a little knob and uh, they have to open up past it to clear it and then go up. So unfortunately, because of these arrow pieces right here, which you can actually already see, I bashed the hell out of it. Uh, the, uh, the doors need to open up here, I'll show you. Right there, boom, see? So the door actually needs to open up, like I said, past a certain point. And it's supposed to go out to like right here and actually further, but because that arrow piece is there, it has to go over and then up slightly, then over to the full amount and then up. So that actually kind of sucks. And like I said, I already bashed the hell out of the, uh, the fiberglass over here, which is exposed. So I'm probably just gonna end up cutting a small piece out of here on both sides. Um, the other side's not as bad, but yeah, the first like two or three times that I like I opened the door, I forgot, and I just swung it open like an idiot and then smashed the hell out of this. So that, that's definitely problem number one right there. Um, number two, let's take a look over here. All right, so right here is actually uh, another issue that I've been having. So if you don't open the door up all the way and you come up you actually like, hit this fender garnish right here so there's been a few times where I've opened the door a little too quickly and then popped the fender garnish off like <laughs> real quick which is fine because it just snaps back on but I'm afraid that I'm not gonna have it on one of these times and it's gonna fly off on the road so that's definitely something to, uh, to be aware of I'm assuming that the reason why these cost so much to begin with is because of the research and development that went behind them because it's definitely uh, definitely an interesting piece of hardware to say the least but it's been uh it's been holding up pretty well yeah so let me know what you guys think in the comment section would you do this to your car uh i know a lot of people wouldn't but some people really like it but i don't know i love it so aside from those few little issues i don't think there's really too much more to really talk about so i was going to edit this video and then I remember to forgot something and sure enough I did it when I came out here. So this is another issue that I've been running into. Um, oh, of course all the wiring and everything since it had to be extended now has so much extra slack and it's not used to having to turn, or go inside of the car inside the door here. So it's been getting pinched, which isn't fucking up the car, really. But my vinyl is taking a pretty nasty hit from that. I don't know if you guys can see this. Sucks. I mean, it's nothing, uh, a little glue, a little fix, a little adhesive, or just get some new wrap, which is probably the better idea, but uh, for now, I'll do a temporary fix. And it looks like it bent it a tiny, tiny bit right here on the fender. I mean, it's not really that noticeable, but it's definitely something to watch out for. So, the other side on the driver's side, I've done it so many times, like open and close the door. It's already starting to kind of naturally go, like hold inside the door, but I never open this door except for when I'm showing it off. So, unfortunately, I've pinched it a few times, and yeah, as you can see, you guys can see it. Yeah. 
Yeah, guys, so it's pretty simple. I mean, like I said, once you get the hang of the opening the doors, it's kind of like one fluid motion, but with the V3 kit, you definitely got to be careful with those, uh, those side arrow pieces because you're going to end up like me bashing the hell out of them. So, yeah, let's go inside and uh, I'll wrap it up over there. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be it for today. Like I said, I just want to do like a quick little overview, just showing you the issues that I've had so far. And like you saw, it's pretty much just issues that I've had with the V3. Um, but well, well worth it either way. Like I said, it's a lot of work to do for the install, but just being mindful opening and closing the door. But like anything, after a while, it kind of just becomes, you know, routine, like natural. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it sleazy. Peace.